Hello everybody, you're here with the person, Katja Dancy, and welcome back to the channel. Let's go. Captain, I've confirmed the death of Ethan Winters. I wasn't able to retrieve the body, but I've recorded evidence. Share your screen, and I'll go over the situation. My team and I were careless. Yesterday, we took down the transformed Miranda, but we didn't kill her. Who knew she could fake being a corpse? <laughs> Since Miranda could have infected Ethan, I forcefully took him and Rose with us. But the vehicle they were riding in was attacked. When I got to the wreck, Ethan and Rose were gone. The last time I was able to contact Ethan, I heard Miranda's voice. She murdered him, and she is not going to get away with it. God damn it, when does it end? What's that, sir? The mission? All of it. Three years trying to put this thing in the ground. Three years too long. So BSAA got here already. They didn't waste any time. Mission adjustment? No, doesn't change anything. Terminate Miranda and rescue Rose. That's the mission. And failure's not an option. Let's have some fun, people. Like old times. Move out. Roger. Yes, okay. K9, I want to know what the hell BSAA is doing here. Find out what you can. Roger that. I'm on it. Been a while since we fought together, Captain. When was the last? The desert? Yes. Doing nothing but recon's gotten me out of shape. But thanks to your recon, we know Miranda's plan. Couldn't quite believe it when I heard she turned herself into Mia, though. Taking five shots to the head's nothing to sneeze at either. Spooky. My god. What the fudge? So Ethan's just dead now. Really? So Ethan's just straight up dead. But I knew it, I knew it the whole time. Every single time I saw that hag, I thought to myself, holy crap, that is so Miranda. That's why at that part where we saw Miranda killing one of the innocents, the hag was right there at the church. She simply just went over there and transformed. I knew it. I haven't actually said it on screen yet, but every time when I've been editing and I've seen the lady, I've just been like, that has to be Miranda. Miranda has to be that person. Surprise, surprise, she was. I don't like it that Ethan's just... Oh, why are the hell is my team? Oh, shit. Oh, damn. Hey, Alpha. What's this? SAA. They've gone too far. Christ. It looks pretty rough down there. How are you planning on reaching the objective? First, we're gonna have to take that thing out. I've got your back, boss. Let's get to work. <sighs> Damn, not during the cutscene. Come on. <laughs> Everyone watch for hostile bioweapons. Roger. Damn. Make contact with a group of hostile bioweapons. There's more than we thought. Watch out. They don't drop anything anymore. Got it. Okay, we just need to hit them in the head. They're dead. Western route is clear. Moving out. Roger that. BSAA craft spotted. Two guards. <laughs> I can take them. Don't get caught. 
Oh damn. What the hell is that thing? It's all new to my seat. That's Miranda's house, by the way. That's probably I mean Louise's house. Let's go. Holy shit, get out of here. Large mutated bioweapon sighted. Oh damn, I better run and get out of here. Damn you. Tundra here. Leaving some supplies in one of the houses, Captain. Help yourself. Thank you. Umberize, I need some backup. I see you. Two hundred to the oh, shit. Damn. I've never heard of a mutamycete colony growing so huge. Yo, it's laggy, but that's all right. Hey, I can ask you, boss. Go, 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 shoot. Why? I uncovered your face. That's right. Target location. Damn, this is big. All right, Lobo. Mark in the target. Roger that, boss. Bingo. All right. Oh. Reloading now. Just a minute. Oh damn! It's a small hit it that way. What the fuck? Really? You know what I'm about to do. Takes a minute to target the point. Try and keep the laser on it as long as you can. Five more from the mountains. East side. I'm nearby. <laughs> My seat must be below. Ooh. Oh, damn. I found a way down. I'm going in. The rest of you stay back. Captain, I compared the mold at the village with a sample from the bakers, and uh, there's no sign of the genome editing we saw in the E series. The stuff originated here. Wow. <clears throat> Whoa. 
What? Guarding the Megamycete, huh? Right, yeah, right, that was such a dupe. Lobo, I got a tough guy here. I'm gonna need backup. Boss, you're up the grill. There's an opening in the roof. Use it. Okay, I'm moving out. I can't attack him at all. With the locator, Give it a break. Ah. Nice. yes, damn, that's difficult. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Yes. Hold your horses. I'm reloading. Damn it. Reloaded. Where should I go? Come on, 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 come on. Yes! Prepping the next round. Just a sec. Oh my god, look at it. Can I move? Reload the captain. <gasps> yes! I'll keep going. The rest of you... Stay above ground. Giant crystal maze. Oh. So if Miranda was the fake Mia, where's the real one? I doubt she Ooh. saw any further use for her. Damn, I'm this is scary. This. How did Miranda even know Rose exists? A moldy little bird told her, maybe? We can figure that out later. Focus on the plan. Oh. I found it. Damn. It's the Mega Mycete. Come on. Alpha to squad. I've located the Mega Mycete. So now we can end this mess after all. About damn time. And two explosives armed. There's enough there to blow the whole village sky high. Let's get out of here and blow the damn place. Not before I end Miranda. I'm not taking any more chances. I'm going in. Roger that. Standing by. Captain, I have eyes on Miranda at the ceremony site. Poor oh, damn. Keep your distance. So sorry, Do streamers. Do not move until I give the order. I know it's too late now, but... We really should have told Ethan the plan. There wasn't time. We didn't expect Miranda to act so soon. Even so, you should have told him. Yeah. This must be Miranda's lab. Whoa. What? No way. Was she an explorer at first? Oh my god, she was. She was an explorer and she found the my seat. My deepest apologies for not meeting you in person. I would love nothing more than to visit your quaint village once more. However, I am incredibly busy. Then again, I suppose for an immortal woman such as yourself, you no longer remember this poor half-dead medical student in the snow. 
I have always cherished the revelations I come. I have always cherished the revelations I came to fifteen years ago when I stayed in your village. I was inspired by your research to think one could transform a human by infecting them with an organism. Positively visionary. I knew that with that knowledge, I could achieve my own vision for the next step in human evolution. Even after two world wars and humanity on the cusp of another, my conviction never wavered. I realized, however, through the many nights of in intellectual talks you and I shared that your, that your conviction differed from mine. You hoped to bring back a single dead person while I aimed to change the world. Your experiments on the mold would not have aided me in the endeavor to achieve an exponential infection. I thought a virus would be more effective. This is why, my dear, I have to leave you. I still regret never telling you goodbye. My apologies for reminiscing. I have actually have, I actually have news that I thought might please you. I have thought the keys. Thought. How did I read that as thought? I have found the keys to evolution. The progenitor. Progenitor. A virus found in Africa. I plan to start a company with my friends and colleagues dedicated to the virus research. I will call it Umbrella. Yup. Just like the symbol in the cave that we spoke about, I am one step closer to making my vision a reality. I hope you will be able to achieve your goal someday too. You taught me so much, and for that I will be forever in your debt. Sincerely, your lifelong student, Oswell E. Spencer. Spencer, and here. No way. That's Miranda. Just a kid. There she is again. In her class. Wow. It's been 100 years since I lost you to the Spanish flu. I was so powerless back then, but now, now I can bring you back to life from the Megamycete. I had to test your new vessel's regenerative abilities. I took her apart and revived her in the Megamycete's regulator, the Giant's Chalice. All that is left is to emerge from with the Megamycete. The ceremony can finally begin. After I lost you, I was so stricken with grief that I wandered into a cave to die. I so wanted to be with you again, and that's when I found it, the Megamycete. Completely by accident. When I touch the black substance, my mind was covered with knowledge. The Megamycete breaks down and absorbs, absorbs the consciousness of those who have perished. I knew that if your consci consciousness was in there too, then there would be a way to bring you back. I just needed the right vessel. When I returned to the village, I implanted the villagers with mold from the Megamycete. That way I could control them, experiment on them. I have experimented on hundreds of people just to find you the perfect vessel. I even tried to increase the efficiency of finding a vessel by creating a parasite I called Kado. Yet none of my experiments came to fruition. There were some, like Elkina, Elkina who were close to being perfect, but almost turned into lichens. I was once approached by an organization who said they would assist me. I gave them some of the mold and your DNA, but all they created was another defect. Evelyn, then again, not a complete failure. I learned of Rose. Thanks to them, I knew she would be the perfect vessel. There was some interference, but I was able to verify her sustainability. Her suitability. Now my research is finally complete. Eva, I have waited too long to see you again. Holy crap. So it's literally just a teacher. It's a teacher who's taken a science class. And one of her students, and I think it would have been a daughter maybe. Somebody very close to her died and she's just trying to bring it back with this thing. Show me your hands! Umbrise, this is Alpha. Where is Miranda right now? Still at the ceremony site. Whatever she's doing, she's staying put. God damn. 
It really is you. I'm glad you saved me. Why are you here? I was caught. In Houston experiments. Wait, did you say Mia? Mia Winters? In the flesh. What's the situation up there? Kind of a war going on. Nothing we can't handle. Don't get distracted. Stick to the mission. I'm headed to the ceremony site. Wait. You can't leave me here. You promised, damn it! You said that you would keep us safe. We did everything that you asked. We moved over here, everything! And I didn't care. So long as we were together. So you tell me, where is my husband? Where is my daughter? Ethan is... He's gone. I couldn't save him. But I can save Rose. Come on. It's not safe here after all. What do you mean he's gone? He's dead. I'm sorry, Mia, but we have to leave. We have to destroy this village. No! You're wrong. I tried to keep this a secret, but... You don't understand how special he is. To save, save Rose. Rose. Wrong! <laughs> it wasn't Miranda. You were always dead. What are you saying? I can still. See? Miranda didn't kill you. You mean you didn't think it was weird? No matter how much you got hurt, remember. Three years ago, the Baker House, you were murdered by Jack. You died there. Three years ago. Th that's, that's impossible. No way. You shouldn't even be able to walk around. Quit messing with my head. You shouldn't be walking. Bro, you! <laughs> what, what am I? I, 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 I did all that. Rose, me, 
you. I... Now do you get it? Your whole body is nothing but mold. <laughs> you can't ever see your family again. Family. Family. No. Rose. I have to save my daughter. You're already dead. Dead. <laughs> <laughs> I, I will save Rose. Damn. Uh. At last, he awakes. Where am I? My carriage, Ethan. You were having a nightmare. Duke? Your battle with Heisenberg was a sight to see, but to think Miranda would show herself. How long have I been out? Not long till dawn. Duke, I need a favor. Take me to Miranda. I assumed as much and am already on the way. We should arrive shortly. Thank you. <laughs> but Ethan, are you sure of this? Your body is, well, falling apart. Yes. Foolish of me to ask. Speaking of foolish questions, who or what are you? <laughs> Even I can't quite answer that. We're here. I owe you one. Mr. Winters, I'm afraid you can't return to your old world any longer. Are you ready? Yeah. I have to be. I gotta go. I knew it. As you wish. This should be enough. Worth it, upgrade. Uh -huh. I saw you eyeing that one. You really didn't. Just gonna sell my lock As always, lockdown shots. How many shots do I have of each? Please, be well. Thanks. First aid med, handgun ammo, shotgun ammo. Alright, we can save here. Let's go for it. I bet this is gonna close behind me. I didn't, but that's alright. Out of my way. My power is leaving. 
Rose! <sighs> Miranda! Interesting. Your body certainly is normal. Give Rose to me! Now! You will see. Once I kill you properly, every- Get her now! Let go! I've spent a lifetime creating this moment. And you try to take it away from me. I will take what is due. My desires will be fulfilled! No. Rose is mine! What the fuck? So for some reason, OBS decided not to work properly, and only on the boss fight. So as you may have noticed, the cutscenes that I was using, I just recorded them again in another playthrough. And um, pretty much what happened was that you have the audio and then you have the picture. Pretty much what was happening was the picture was like ahead of where the audio was. So you would hear what would happen before you would actually see it. And that really does not work for a cutscene because it actually looks horrible and it's really annoying. So I had to record it again and not show my face because it's not a genuine reaction. But otherwise, for some reason, for the rest of this boss fight, OBS decided to lag so much and it pretty much only captured like the first 10 seconds of the boss fight. But then after that, it just decided to mess up and lag so much with very minimal frames. But the audio recorded completely fine without a single issue. So you guys can watch it if you want, but otherwise I'll put a little time on the screen for when you can skip to if you just want to skip the laggy as boss fight otherwise once again i couldn't do anything about this so uh hope you guys still enjoy the video anyways carry on you fulfilled your purpose mr winters oh damn you disposed of my false children and awakened the glorious now please do not worry for little rose i assure you i'll provide her with truth Oh, so damn. Now, <laughs> Rose is truly mine at last. That's not fair at all. She attacked me twice. Ugh, really? That's not fair. Uh, bro, why the hell is the sound so off on the bloody cutscenes? It's not funny. Like, actually not funny. You fulfilled your purpose, Mr. Winters. You disposed of my false children and awakened the glorious magnificence. Now, please do not worry, for little Rose. I assure you, I'll provide her with true happiness. Oh, damn. Oh, damn. So now you can die peacefully and permanently. Oh, damn. Uh, Wait. Oh, damn. How about that, huh? I can shoot fire at you too, yeah. You oh, yeah. How can you deny me? Why what the fudge is that? Rose is my goddamn kid, not yours. Oh, crap. See, that's how I could heal. Oh, damn. Uh. Cease this foolish. Oh, damn. This. Where are you? Okay, you're just flying in the air now. Watch out. Make this one count. I've never seen a huge
got it to count. All right, now shortcut this one to here. Are you sure? Oh my god! The men in my seat saved me from the pits of despair. It granted me this splendid power. Yeah, right. All it's done is drive me nuts. <laughs> nice one. <laughs> Oh, that was right in here. Yeah. Let's go. Run the hit. Oh, damn. Alright, reload. Now, Mr. Winters, I think it's time you left things. Oh, dang. Oh, shit. The hell I will. I will take back my daughter! Woohoo! If I combine Rose with a Mega Mycet, my daughter will be made manifest at last! Whoa. I've waited a century. A century! All for this day! Okay, you're doing that fire thing again. Sure. I'll just uh, I'll just reload behind this pillar, okay? Don't mind me. Why do you persist in this Your time is up! Now die! Ah, uh, no thanks. Why do you interfere? Surely yes. you don't need moves now, so close to death. She's yeah. my goddamn daughter, you psycho! What happened? The scope just disappeared. Your life is over. No, they. I'm still walking, so you're still dying. Why? Oh, dang! God damn it! Ugh. Oh, I have to start from the beginning every time. Ah, uh. uh, little Ava, my beautiful daughter. Skip. You fulfilled your purpose, Mr. Winters. You disposed of my false children and awakened the glorious place. Now, please do not worry, for little ones. I assure you, I'll provide her with true thoughts. So now you can die, please. Alright, now she's doing the fire thing. I'm not letting you get away. Run. Hot mist. No, it ain't. Run. How did she hit me? I was running. I shall put you to rest. Damn it. What? That was freaking four hits at once. That is not fair. How would you just want to get out of here? Yes. Oh, that's very nice. But I'm gonna grab this wolf screen. Yeah, right. All it's done is drive me nuts. Oh, damn. Where's she coming from? Oh, no. Ah, you suck at that one. Damn. Cut this one down here, and then use this cutscene to reload all this. What? <laughs> hmm. 
Now, Mr. Winters, I think it's time we left things in my hands. Oh, nope, this. you didn't hit me that time. The hell I will! I will take back my daughter! No, I don't. <laughs> die, 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 die! Yeah. If I combine Rose with a mega my daughter will be made manifest at last! I've made it a century. A century! Don't worry, I'll just stick behind here. It's fine. It's alright. Don't really care. No. You just keep doing you over here. Why won't you die? No, not caps lock. Get out of here. After all. Oh, she's flying about me. Damn. Damn, what's up? Get out of here. Oh, damn. <laughs> Oh, damn. Ha, you missed that. Why do you oh, what the? Hi, I was not expecting that. So close to death. She's my goddamn daughter. Not I'm cast block shift. Ha, ah. missed. I will not let him or anyone else be wrote for my dog. Where are you going? <laughs> what? Hold still. Oh damn. Where are you? Come here. Let me shoot you. Can you just stand still so I can shoot you, please? I've never seen a human live without his heart. Are you sure? That's because I'm a sick ass bastard. And you should realize this right. They could do nothing to assuage my years of loneliness. Ever think the problem might be you, Miranda? Yeah, exactly. You're not capable of your love. Oh damn. Oh damn. Damn. Understand your feelings, Mr. Winters. True, I do. But this is the end for you. Straight. I will Shoot. Straight. No, you will not. You will die. Impudent! Please, Mr. Winters. I didn't know that was a button, huh? So now you can die. Do not let you get away. To ensure I never see your face. Ethan! Ethan! Come on, Ethan. Come on, Ethan, wake up! Oh, no. Chris. Ethan. He did it. It's finished. I think we've finished each other. Ethan. We gotta move. Keep moving, Ethan. 
There's a bomb in that thing that'll blow this whole village sky high. Hey, look at me. When I hit this trigger, we can't be anywhere near it. Ah, damn it. Mia's waiting for you. She's alive, you hear me? Alive. Mia. I'm so sorry. I love you. Keep Rose safe. Hey, hey. Hey. <laughs> And you tell yourself, now oh, come on, it's not that much further. Watch over her. Teach her to be strong. God damn it. Goodbye, Rosemary. Ethan. Go! Go! Take us up now! Sit down and strap in. Not before you tell me where Ethan is. I know he wouldn't abandon us. Tell me what's going on. Where? could all escape. I'm sorry. Captain. You need to see this. BSAA didn't send soldiers. This is a bioweapon. What the hell were they thinking? Orders, Captain. Pick up the rest of the squad. Plot a course for BSAA Europe HQ. Someone's got to pay. Did the whole time. He was be he was in control. Of <gasps> he was a perfect match for the my seat. My seat. Wow. 
he was a perfect match for it. That's why he was able to come back. No way. So that must mean that the My Seat wanted Miranda dead. The My Seat must be plotting against Miranda. It doesn't want Miranda alive because Miranda keeps abusing its power. I said it the whole time. Oh my god, I just realized. The Fish King. Moreau. The Weaver. Must be Lady Demetresque. That is made out of metal. That is Heisenberg. Oh, damn. turn is due. In a blink, the girl was trapped inside a mirror. Her parents, though, had searched all day and at last arrived. With rampant rage, father fought the witch, while mother's loving touch shattered the dark enchantment. But the witch was strong, and father yelled, save our daughter! So mother bore their child to safety as the forest was consumed. Even now, the burnt forest is a grim reminder of father's sacrifice. To this day, any child who stares too long into the charred wasteland will be haunted by nightmares of getting lost while picking berries. Holy crap. Now the sen now the story makes sense. Part six. I said that the story was absolute bullshit. It was not Rosemary Winters in the jar because it is impossible for them to have taken my daughter and done all that. But no, Miranda was Mia. That makes it all possible now. Damn. Wow. And all my disrespect for the Duke has now just completely... Now I respect him, man. He's a good guy. That's incredible. And I was one hit away as well. Dang it! <laughs> I was one hit from losing. Clutched it up. <laughs> Let's go. The four lords that the daughter came across. The four lords that the girl came across were the four lords. You know, the four beings. The horse, Heisenberg, the fish, Moreau, the weaver. Lady Demetres. No, the bat. The bat is Lady Demetres. And then the weaver is the doll maker. That makes sense. Wow. That's amazing. Amazing game. But what I don't understand is this was actually set after Resident Evil 7. 
I thought it was set beforehand, because I actually searched it up. It says it was set beforehand. But no. But now Ethan Winters is dead. Wow. That's incredible. This is my first big game that I finished, that's uh... Now, I was expecting Mother Miranda to be the old hag, but Mia? Wow, that is... that is next level. She pretend... wait! Hold on a minute. Ethan died in Resident Evil 7. Meaning he would have been controlled by the Myceet. Meaning that would have been Mother Miranda's plan all along. She put the My Seeds to control Ethan. Then she turned into Mia. Ethan still thinks he's alive. And she made out with Ethan to get a kid for herself. So then technically Ethan's actually her kid as well. But she made him. But he didn't know that. Wow. Amazing game. I've never ever played something like this before. I will definitely be doing other ones. But um, anyways. Uh, next time I'm streaming. I will be, hopefully, speedrunning the game. Meaning, I'll be seeing how fast I can get through it. Well, I've come to the end of the credits now. Let's have a look, shall we? So all of the things we were killing were actually failures on the experiment. That's incredible. He can touch the moon, it's too far away. Wait, what if he has a rocket ship? Uh, okay, then he can touch it, but it'd be very, very cold. You were being silly. I don't <laughs> think the moon feels like a human. Hey, Dad. Happy birthday. Sorry I missed last week. I have a lot of tests coming up. You know how it is. <laughs> Talk of the goddamn devil. Duty calls. I love you. Yeah, I found her. Where else? The day of all days. <clears throat> we have a situation. You're needed, <laughs> Evelyn. Don't you ever call me that again. Whoa, whoa, it's just a joke, Rose. I can show you things even Chris doesn't know I can do. <sighs> we have a clear 
shot. Stand down. I can handle it. She's just a kid. <sighs> we need to keep it together, Rose. You're a lot like him, you know? I know. Wow. Wow, so they finished off Ethan's story. But this is like a prequel into the next game. It's now no longer Ethan's. Someone else's. Probably Rose's. Not bad, actually. I thought I was going to get a lot longer. Average run is 12 hours, they said. An hour 44 over the average is actually not that bad. I'm actually surprised at that. I thought it was going to get way longer. <laughs> it took me five and a half hours just to defeat Lady Demetress. The first boss it took me five hours. <laughs> and I was like, well, this is going to be a long series. But it actually turned out to be not that bad. Well, everybody, that's the end of the video. Hope you all enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to leave a like down below. Otherwise, while you're down there, just go and subscribe as well. Otherwise, that's the end of the video, and I'll see all you dudes in the next video. Bye-bye!